okay we're going to cover setting up a snipe so first of all you need to log in click on the members login link Enter your username and password okay here's your my items page you can see I have no active items to display I've not set up any snipes with this account yet that'll change in a minute first of all I want to go over what a couple things you need to do before you set up any snipe first is you need to be sure that the bid confirmation page is shown to do that just enter in a bid click on the place bid button now you're okay your bid will not be placed immediately as long as you don't click on the confirm bid button anyway you'll see some general item information and this is the page you want to see if you see a different page then bid ball is not going to work for this item you'll have to come up with some other plans to uh, where you're bidding. Now here's a couple alternative pages you may see. A possible recall notice. Uh, this would be probably shown to a newer user. And this is basically the same thing. And then uh, too many bid retractions. So these are all possibilities that you may see other than this page. As long as you see this page, you should be good to go. Okay, one other thing. Uh, make sure that you meet the seller requirements. Maybe the easiest way to, to do this is just to send a seller a question and ask them what uh, requirements they have set. The biggest one is uh, having a PayPal account. Actually, you can see this one has that restriction on it. PayPal account required think that's that's uh, the one that's used the most often but you can also have uh, there are more restrictions uh, have two or more unpaid strikes against you and last 30 days seller may not ship to your location or they might outright block you from their auction for one reason or another again the easiest way is probably to to ask the seller but you can also look through here look at the shipping information right there okay in the fall as well you're good to go we can go ahead and go ahead with setting up the snipe what you would do is just copy the item number from the eBay item page just enter it in the add item number field click the add item now it'll retrieve all the information about the item from eBay you see the item number this is a link to the auction page if I clicked on that you can see if I had to buy it now price it would be right here number of bids location shipping cost you'll have to check the item page you see pretty much most of the information you'd see on eBay okay enter in your maximum bid okay quantity this probably 99 percent of the time will stay at the default one you may be bidding on a multiple item auction that's a possibility but most of the time you're just bidding on one item okay now you need to enter in your eBay password uh, essentially bidball logs into eBay just as you would when placing a bid so obviously it needs your password there's just no way around that I'll enter my password okay now these this is set by default you cannot opt out of notifications to your email address you'll be sent uh, an email if your maximum bid is exceeded before it's time for your bid to be placed and you'll receive another email at the end of the auction and let you know the result if you won or lost now you have the option to to be notified by SMS now you can see that it will cost you the SMS alerts will cost you each one so just choose wisely when when you do choose this option um, maybe Maybe you'd only want to use it for more important items. That's again, that's up to you. It's 75% of the snipe fee. So if you buy the the uh, package with the most snipes in it, you'll get your SMS alerts a little bit cheaper as well. And if you would select this option, just click here to to enter in your your mobile phone number. You would do that and just click the submit button. Get out of here. I'm going to select that option. Obviously, I'm 
would imagine you already know the reader description of the item before bidding and you cannot set up or delete a snipe when there's less than five minutes left in the auction also you have to wait till a half an hour after the auction ends before deleting it or archiving it and if everything looks good there's my maximum bid eBay password that's basically all you need just click, click on the snipe it button and here's your confirmation message letting you know that it's been added and now here it is okay you can see the item number and time maximum bid a maximum schedule bid and the current price now to edit it is really simple just click on the edit snipe button and here's the information again say I wanted to increase my maximum now really you know that you should not be doing this right when you initially schedule your your snipe you should just ask yourself what is the absolute maximum bid you want to you want to schedule just enter it and just forget about it if you can do that but when you edit a snipe you don't need to enter in your uh, password again eBay password just come on down here and click on the update it button now you can see I now ha I have a new maximum schedule bid and now if you want to delete it stop and remove click the button that's it it's gone now if I, you did that accidentally you can just click on the undo button and there it is again and now let's get to a keyword search say you're not really sure what you want right yet you can search eBay straight from bidball here Nintendo you can sort your options or, or the results by mess best match price and time buy it now is only because it wouldn't help you a whole lot when you're sniping right you can click on the, either the image or the link here. It'll take you to eBay to look at the uh, item description. You see this time left. Uh, that's the current price. But let's say I found something while searching on Bidball. Just click on the buy or snipe a button, and again you'll be taken to the snipe setup page, where you would do just as you did before. And that's pretty much it. The setting up a snipe.